Chris Jenner. By the way, those cheeks are packed, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they are packed. So anyway, so she just turned 61. Is today her birthday? No, today, no, is, today North is North birthday. birthday. birthday, right. Happy birth, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Today is Northwest's birthday. And a special shout out to Tiny and T.I.'s kids. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I was gagging when I heard about Amber Rose and Wiz Khalif. Uh, I thought that they really loved each other. No, really, and I'm cynical. But I thought that these two really loved each other. I genuinely like both of them separately, and I love them as a couple, and they have that little baby bash, you know, just adore, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. To me, that's not indicative of them getting back together. That's indicative of, you know, baby bash. They're both looking to co-parent, you know, their whoa, 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 nicely. When you said that, I felt very embarrassed. And I felt like you weren't talking about my dance, but if I misunderstood, then I apologize. I don't like to argue or bicker or make things weird. Dance is a universal platform for people to express themselves, any person, whether that is age or height, body shape, ethnicity. I'm here to solely judge you and everyone else in this competition for only the dancing. Doesn't Amber come off like she's so sweet? Yes. Like, didn't you feel bad for her? Yes. So sweet. Aw, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. Hmm. Do you want an earring cam too? I want an earring cam. I kind of do. <laughs> Now the sound department hates me, so we're gonna do this. Yes, yes. Can I just tell you, you're like, um, you're like the cousin that everybody wants. Aw, thank you. Right? At least in my head. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to congratulate John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. Nothing says OMG like a brand new baby. And so they had a little girl. Congratulations with your sleepless nights and all that other kind of good stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you have a, um, um, uh, a preemie, like Kim has the preemie. So she, you know, it's not like if you have a baby till full term and you can pick them up and, you know, whoa, 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 and, you know, <laughs> do things with them. You know, with a preemie, you know, they just lay and you look and, <laughs> you know, you get, you get nervous. You know what I mean? No, I'm not surprised that Chris Brown had a baby. What's surprising to me is that this is his first one. <laughs> How old is he, 25? 25, he's at least four kids behind. <laughs> I don't think that this baby will change him. I think that he'll trot the baby around when he's trying to get in our good graces and the law's good graces. Cause you know, everybody loves puppies and babies. <laughs> they make everybody go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, you know, you see him coming out of the Chuck E. Cheese and he's got his little daughter and whatnot. And all of a sudden, all of our hearts will melt. So I think, I think he'll use the baby like as a prop. Justin Bieber, oh. he's 19 years old. He was allegedly, Oh, whoa, 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 with that, with that mustache. Whoa, oh, he's trying to grow up. Oh, uh, Joe Judice. So as we know, Hi. Teresa got out of jail last Christmas time and she's been home. You, you watch it on Real Housewives of New Jersey, but now Joe is away. We're hearing that Joe's, he's very depressed. He misses his four daughters, he misses his wife. He's actually oh. gonna miss Gia's sweet 16 while whoa, he's whoa, there. Whoa. It's kind of heartbreaking. And I know Teresa spent 11 months in prison, but Teresa could have done a whole lot more time. But she trotted that cute family around and the woo, woo, woo. And you know they went easier on her because of that. Nick Cannon stays winning, doesn't he? It's almost like this divorce is doing him good. <laughs> and it pains me to say, but it seems like he's winning over Mariah. Yeah. I'm sad. I just wish that she put on a brave face to the world. Do you know what I mean? Like, like shake it off. Wasn't that, one, that, wasn't that your song? <laughs> yeah, Mar Mar Mariah, shake it off or at least fake it. At least fake it, you know what I mean? Because right now people are like, woo, woo, woo. They're talking about her weight and the lack of vocals and you know, all that, this stuff. In the meantime, Nick is staying winning and I just want her to shake it off. Even if she's crying inside. 
And even if she cries when she goes back home, you know what I mean? You can't let them see you sweat, Mariah. It appears the honeymoon is over for, who do you want me to say? <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> and her husband, Chris Humphreys. Kim needs a break and didn't realize that marriage was going to be so hard. <laughs> They've been married for like exactly 23 minutes. <laughs> It's been only two months, you guys, and she's already spending time away from him. And now, mind you, with this basketball lockout, he's got nothing but time to be up under her nerves. <laughs> and Kim, Kimmy Kim, this is your chance to prove to us that you really can put up with that, that you really do love him. Time together. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Tiger Woods, apparently, okay, First of all, I thought it was a mutual breakup between Tiger and Lindsay until now. Apparently, he's devastated that she broke his heart. Aww. No, girls, we got away with another one! I mean, it's nice to see a man hasn't slept for three days for once as opposed to we women tossing and turning and crying, right? So, poor Tiger revealed that he hasn't slept in three days. Aww. And he says that... He, yeah, exactly. He says that the breakup has been brutal on him. Well, no. <laughs> um, Tiger, woo, woo, woo. We, we feel so sorry for you. Look, just play your golf and Lindsay, good one, girl. And poor Jenny Garth, woo, woo, woo. She's devastated because reportedly her ex-husband, Peter Facinelli, and I just got engaged to his girlfriend, Jamie. Jenny and Peter had a wonderful marriage. They were married for like 10 or 11 years. Aww. Just say it with me. Aww. <laughs> Remember I was telling you that she was really upset and we were having a woo 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 moment for her last week because um, Jenny's ex father to her kids, Peter Facinelli just got engaged. And try as we might, and we did try hard, didn't we Hot Topics? We could not find out. We could not find, you know, Tori in love, uh, um, Jenny in love with anybody, holding hands, coming out of the palm rest, like nothing. So I was like, whoa, 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 you know, poor, this is probably the worst day of Jenny's life. Only to find out, because apparently we didn't dig hard enough, <laughs> that she, too, just got engaged to an actor named David Abram. She keeps her business really quiet. Now, I love Gladys Knight, and I love my son. But if he ever did me dirty like this, I would have to speak my truth and, and continue on with my life. So Gladys, you know, has this chicken and waffles restaurant in Atlanta. She's got three of them. And what Gladys is saying is that she doesn't have a part of this business. She gave her name to it, which is something that I would do. I would do that for my kid. Like, like, baby, here, here you go. You know, you're so smart. Mommy loves you so much. Woo, woo, woo. Because now he's taller than me. Woo, woo, woo. Now go on with you, okay? Use, the, use my name and, and make your money and just buy me a handbag for Christmas. <laughs> Dina Lowen's ready to meet a man. Apparently she's gonna appear on our friend Patty Stanger's Millionaire Matchmakers. I don't want, Patty, I love you. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. We, we are both Jersey girls. Your dearly departed mother and my mother were besties at the condo in Florida. So Patty is like family. But Patty, I don't want you to hook up another person until I see you hooked up. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, Patty, I love you, but it's not a good look for the matchmaker not to be matched. So yesterday it was all about bad news and career ending for Iggy Azalea. The music world has given her the business about her music. Then the world at large seems to give her the business about her surgicalizations. And then that stupid comparison to that movie White Chicks, which I think is Iggy Azalea. No, I've never, I mean, if you squint, you say, I think Iggy Azalea is a very beautiful girl. So I think that this has really gotten her down and behind the four walls of their house, she's probably very woo, 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 woe is me. How many times can I be out there 
in the world, enjoying my life, and yet the narratives is poor, sorry, sad, love, Jen. Whatever the stupid headline is, there was a part of me that used to get very upset. Now I'd rather just focus on people and things that are here happening and what's yet to come. I don't, I don't think that Jen quite understands that most of us, we're, you know, we're concerned for her in a woo-woo-woo kind of way. That's all. We don't mean anything by it. It's just that, you know, you had your husband taken away from you by another woman. And then they went on and they formed a family. That's got to be hurtful to any woman. You know, then, you know, you've been with Justin Thoreau, and, and we were like, woo, woo, like, uh, literally, I got a T-shirt that said Team Jen at the time this whole hubbub was going on. And now Jen is with Justin Thoreau, who had a girlfriend of many years at the time that Jen met him. And they live downtown Manhattan. I'm just, that's my job. I'm just reminding you of how it all went down. <laughs> Jen, the reason why we're still saying woo, woo, woo is because you're internally engaged, and we don't know what's going on, but we want you to be happy so you can battle back at that woman. <laughs> That's all. Tori Spell Spelling, excuse me, called up um, her husband Dean's ex-wife, who Dean was married to when Tori and Dean cheated on with each other. The long-suffering ex-wife. Yeah. She's at home with the seven-year-old, and Dean is out cheating with Tori. Oh. My girl Tori, I love woo-woo-woo, woo-woo-woo. <laughs> but Tori, is there nothing that you won't do for the reality cameras? Is there, I, I, like, I'm just so shocked at uh, what you put out there on TV for the purpose of being famous and a little check. You're a spelling, damn it. Get it together. <laughs> Last night, I had a great time. Keds had their 100th anniversary event here in Manhattan. <laughs> Sierra performed. All right, so you want to know how it went? Yes! All right. <laughs> so Sierra sees me, and I see her, and we hug. So um, I whispered her, I said, you know, Sierra, it's tough doing my job, but we've known each other for a long time. And, you know, I love you. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> and she said, Wendy, you know I love you too. She told me, though, that there are always other sides to a story that we don't know about. So weird. I can be so open talking to you here, but when I go out and realize that, <laughs> you know, sometimes the things that get talked about when my behind hits this chair... <laughs> All I want to do is look at the ground, <laughs> hide with a side part, <laughs> and go home. Kimberly thinks her son Wyatt looks like Ed Sheeran. Aww. So let's take a look at the real Ed. Aww. Now, <laughs> what a mess. But let's take a look at Wyatt. Oh, yes, you do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so funny.